What does being an animal lover look like? Does it involve recognising that they are here alongside us? Showing them the respect and care they deserve as individuals? Or does it involve believing that their entire existence is to serve our interests as humans? That their lives are only meaningful if they can be used by us? These horses are born and bred in order to race. That is what they do. We know, deep down, that this way of relating to other animals is fundamentally broken. We know, deep down, this mindset of judging their worth by how much we can take from them not only leads to the suffering of billions of animals, but also to climate and ecological collapse. Animal farming is the leading cause of deforestation and biodiversity loss. Because of this, now only 4% of mammals are classified as wild. Even the animal farmer that loads a truck full of animals to go to slaughter can feel pain in their heart when they close the latch. Even the slaughterhouse worker who wields the knife can grimace at night when they remember their faces. Even the jockey that rides, whips and witnesses the death of a horse can know it's wrong. We were never meant to dominate others. We were always meant to live alongside them, peacefully, with love. But somehow, we broke that bond. This broken relationship has empowered industries to send horse after horse to die and think it acceptable. It's what gave the Met Police the power to gun down two innocent dogs in broad daylight. It's what subjects trillions of animals to slaughter, experimentation and subjugation. The state relentlessly protects it. It imprisons those that have opposed it and even those who have thought about opposing it. It empowers greedy industries to buy private laws that undermine our democratic rights. It cracks down on anyone challenging the status quo. We've become so used to this broken relationship that some people don't even see these practices as harmful and cruel. They look, but they don't see. Change cannot happen without ordinary people standing up to cruelties. Ordinary people saying no. People are rising up to redefine our relationship with other animals. To heal what is broken. To restore nature by rewilding the freed up land and to protect everyone from the climate crisis. We're rising to fix our broken relationship with animals because we do look and we do see. We are rising for all life.